Hello, welcome to Down the Back of the Sofa, in which I, Dave Thompson, invite a guest to find something down the back of the sofa. Today, here at Brody Studios in Budapest, my guest is stand-up comedian and filmmaker, Danny Ward. Danny, welcome to Down the Back of the Sofa. Thanks, Dave. Great Lovely to, to be you. here. Nice to have you here. So, Danny, you're doing a sitcom at the moment. Yeah, we're currently uh, in production for season two of my sitcom called Wheelbarrow Town, available on YouTube. Uh, first series is already up there, ten episodes, starring myself, uh, Mark Simmons, another comedian. Yeah. Plus, each uh, episode we have a different guest. Uh, from different comedians from, from all over the, uh, the circuit. Gosh, well, I'm starting to get hopeful that maybe I might get invited on oh, your show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, yeah. As you're on my show. Do you fancy a drink? Yes, please. The drinks are served by my glamorous assistant, Kitty, who is a very funny comedian in her own right. Hello, Hi. how are you going? Hello. Hello, Kitty. Oh, well, I say the drinks are served by Kitty. I mean, uh, brought on by a tray and then put on the table. Not quite served. So, uh, Danny, um, you're going to find an object down the back of the sofa? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, uh, due to uh, a very low budget, we can't afford a proper prop sofa. So, uh, the objects are just really found behind the cushion. Well, I'm not even sure what proper actually, uh, prop sofa would look like. But here's my first... They're really found down the back of Kitty. We should yeah. call the show Down the Back of Kitty. This is what we've found. Mm -hmm. It is something that you don't realise you need until you have it. It is a telescopic spoon. My goodness me. That's beautiful. It's from my love of all things tap, rubbish, junk. Overproduced, underacquired, I just want it. And uh, this came uh, in a box, mm -hmm. and on the side of the box it said, uses, first one, conversation starter. I thought it was more of a conversation stopper. Well, it's, got to be, it's not really living up to its, uh, does, up to its uses here, is it? But does it attach to a transistor radio that's in the shape of a bowl of muesli? <laughs> uh, no, but it is useful if you, you know, fancy just... Uh, well, you can have a look at it yourself. Do be gentle with it, though. It's, yeah. a, you know, it's a nice piece of kit. It would be quite a good or nipple protector, just in case yep. that was necessary. I, I also not, you know, don't wish to show off, but I do also have the uh, fork version. Yeah. But I wasn't entirely convinced I'd get it through customs, so I bought the spoon. Yeah. Obviously, the fork can be used as a back scratcher. Yeah. What about the knife? Have you got the knife as well? Interestingly, they don't do a telescopic knife. Oh. And that isn't to say I haven't looked. Mm. Well, nobody can say that you're not equipped to sup with the devil. Because, of course, when you sup with the devil, you should always use a long spoon. Well, actually, do you remember the, this, that there was a fable? Was it a fable? Where the difference between heaven and hell was that if someone went down to, to, to hell and everyone had l beautiful food in a banquet, mm. but everyone had these massive knives and forks. Oh, that's so right. they couldn't feed themselves. So everyone was going hungry. Yeah. And then they went up to heaven. Exact same banquet, exact same long knives and forks. The difference was everyone was feeding each other. That's like, oh, that's great. You were born with a silver spoon in your mouth. Yeah, that's not getting my knife. No. <laughs> great. Well, uh, do you have any more objects to find down the back of the yeah, sofa? Yeah, for sure. Great. Well, let's see, let's see what the we've got. The next one is this. Do you know what this is? No, it's what? It's a hanky. It's a, it's a bandana. Oh, wow. Suddenly you look like somebody out of an American Vietnam movie. Oh, close. Yeah. This is about my love of American... F football? Wrestling. Wrestling? Yeah, I'm a big wrestling fan. Oh. Do you have wrestling in Hungary? In, in Budapest? No? Only when they've drunk too much Parlinka. Because I think you could look like a bit like a professional wrestler. You know, you've got the kind of look with the Hulk Hogan moustache. Yeah. You see, and obviously, you know, the, 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 uh, the biceps. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, have you um, ever considered a... Uh, I've done uh, martial arts for over 20 years. Uh, are you quite hard then? Yeah. Uh, no, no, I'm more soft than hard. It's a soft martial right, art. I, I, I realise I haven't been treating you with the respect 
I right, would treat one with, um, if I knew they had, have you really been doing martial arts for 20 years? Uh, yeah, over 20 years. Oh, right, yeah. which ones? Uh, Aikido, I'm actually a fourth Dan. Right. But it doesn't make any difference. I wouldn't have made the joke about the uh, biceps if I'd known that. No, no, <laughs> because uh, the, the, the more you do it, the more peaceful you become. And the, and the less, the further you are from any violence. Right, okay. The greatest warrior uh, never draws his sword, and the greatest clown needs to do nothing. I'm still working on the second one. But uh, I, li I like the bandana. It's very nice. I've always been a massive fan of American wrestling. Got into my blood when I was younger, and now it's just, uh, it, it never leaves you. Never leaves you. Well, apart from most people who grow out of it. And uh, what uh, temperature does that need to be washed on? I'd say 60 degrees? Probably, well, actually, it's 100% cotton. Yeah. So you could do a 40. Uh, but nowadays, people wash in as low as 20 degrees. Yeah, just to, to save uh, the environment. Yeah. Exactly. And, and also now, the, the, the washing powders, even non-biological, will clean in that very low temperature. Yeah. Well, it's one of the good things that's happened uh, in the, you know, the world. One of the big good things, yeah. So you're going to find another object down the back Would of the Is that my final one? Yeah. I'll, take, I'll take this off now, will I? Oh, well, you can leave it on if you want. My final one yeah. is... Down the back of Kitty. The bum bag. Oh, bum bag, a.k.a. fanny pack, or in, what would you call it in? Fanny pack. Fanny pack, yeah. Oh, uh, Kish Veketa Tashka in Hungarian. Yeah, yeah. Wow, <clears throat> how do you know that? I was married to a Hungarian for 16 and a half years. Well, I suppose that's true, but I mean... I needed to learn Hungarian so I could understand the credit really? card statements. These haven't been in, uh, in, in vogue for 16 and a half years, and I don't wish to <clears throat> hijack your show. Well, it doesn't mean bum bag, it just means small black bag. It wasn't specifically a bum bag, but I tried to keep the language clean on the show and not, not use words like that. Like, like what? Like, yes, yeah, but the B word. And um, this basically represents for me, my dad still wears a bum bag and he's basically the only person I know. I don't know what the sort of, what the, uh, the, the social etiquette is here, but bum bags in England, you know, for quite some time have been a big no-no, mm -hmm. which I think is a shame because I think they're really, really useful. And I just I would like to bring them back as a as a as a as a respectable mm. piece of clothing because um, I I think it's very very useful. I used to be a professional pick bum bag, and uh, I would pick people's bum bags because it's a lot easier than picking a pocket. Do you know how people do that? How do they do it? Well, it's just a, a nice, it's just a sharp knife. Yeah. Yeah. From behind. You just all you do is cut. It cut it. Yeah. 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 It's actually you're quite exposed here. From, yeah. the, from the back, even the, what they do say in the in the, in the travel guides. Yeah, if you're going abroad, um, what you want to do is you want to put it underneath your clothes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah? yeah, like that. So it's not here on show. Yeah, because everyone sees that they think they're going to get a wallet. They think they're going to get a passport. Passport. They think they're going to get a phone. Boarding pass. Boarding pass. Maybe travelers checks. Yeah. Or well, I don't card. know if travelers checks still exist. Yeah, or cash. Never really understood the point of travelers checks. And then you just pop it under there. That goes down there. Look at that. You might look like you've had a good Christmas, but really. Yeah. Or a colostomy. Or a colostomy. <laughs> um, Don't wait. But what you could Where's do your is colostomy bin? Don't they go on the, <laughs> you go on, the, on, the, on the leg? I haven't got to that stage yet, thank goodness. Well, it's a weight in us all, isn't it? But uh, um, you could, of course, if you were on a plane, like if we were, say, on a three seat um, thing on a plane, uh, if you had like a spoon that was maybe telescopic, and even possibly if the person fell asleep, you could steal things out of their bag. Uh, with the spoon. Yeah, well, for that, what I'd rather have is my uh, telescopic um, uh, magnet. Yeah, well, I look forward to uh, having uh, you on show us that if I get on your show. Uh, that's all we have time for, Danny. Okay. But it's wonderful to have you on the show. Oh, it's been my pleasure. Thank you. That's my pleasure too, and thank you, Kitty. And next episode on Down the Back of the Sofa, we'll have as my guest His Holiness the Pope. Thank you for watching. And good luck.